Hi guys, um, I am uh, getting ready to head out the door and drive up to Woodstock for the race. Um, I just wanted to say a quick thank you to everybody who supported me. Um, I really appreciate it, especially all the Facebook messages. Um, and I just wanted to talk about a couple of things right before I head out the door. Uh, one is the question that a lot of people have been asking me, and that is, am I ready? And the answer is yes. Uh, I think physically I've done just about everything that I've wanted to do in my training to prepare for this. So you know, physically I'd have to say that I am ready. I've gotten a lot of rest over the last week or two and uh, and I feel good. So I think I am ready. Mentally, that's that's what this race is going to come down to for me. It's going to be whether or not I can just convince myself to keep moving forward. I'm sure I'm going to hit some walls, uh, multiple walls throughout the race. And as long as I can tell myself that that finish line is is near and that's what I came out here to do then then I'll be fine so for me I think it's gonna be uh, mostly just a, a mental race as far as strategy goes I don't have too much of a specific strategy um, there's a couple of things that I wanna make sure that I do one is that I don't wanna sit down at all throughout the race uh, I think once I sit down uh, that'll that'll be it for me so I need to stay on my feet and when I take breaks, I want to make sure that I'm just continually moving forward. I don't want to stop um, because really the difference for me between standing still and walking very slowly forward, I'm going to get about the same rest out of it. So um, I want to make sure that I keep moving forward because over the course of 100 miles, just that little very slow movement forward, if I can do that at a lot of different places instead of stopping, I think that'll help me out. And um, I'm confident up until the 50 mile point because I've done that twice before. It's really just everything after that that uh, is going to be new territory for me. Um, but after I hit 50, I'm, I'm really going to look forward to meeting my friend at mile 75 because her and I are going to run from 75 to about 86 or 87. Um, and then I'll only have about a half marathon left. So looking forward to seeing her at mile 75 will be nice. Uh, a couple of really small concerns I have. Um, my feet, I'm not sure how they're going to hold up, especially if it rains, the thunderstorms come through, or if my feet get really wet. Um, they've done well up till 50 miles, but I just don't know uh, how how bad they might get after that point. And from what I've heard from other people is if, you're, if your feet go, then that's a really, really serious problem and it's very difficult to continue. So I'm hoping my feet hold up. Uh, my contacts, I have really dry eyes and my contacts get dried out very quickly. So I can't remember the last time I wore them for 24 hours straight, so we'll see how that works out, but hopefully it won't be a problem. Uh, and then just the weather. Uh, last time I checked was yesterday, and it was supposed to be a high of 90 uh, and 40% chance of thunderstorms. So if, uh, if the 90 and the thunderstorms both happen, it could be a very interesting race. But, um, but I can't control the weather, so I'm just going to focus on what I can control and do what I know how to do, and that's run very slowly for a really long time. So when I cross the finish line, I will let you guys know how I did.